A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman exchanged congratulations and best wishes on the holy month of Ramadan. They wished further progress and prosperity to the two countries and their peoples, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations. Under the chairmanship of the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Limsalam, a joint parliamentary meeting was held with the Minister of Labour, Jamil Ahmedan, and in the presence of members of the Representatives Council. During the meeting, the efforts of the Ministry of Labour in employment, training and qualification programs were reviewed. The speaker praised the cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities and implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He pointed out the interest of the Representatives Council in supporting the efforts of the Ministry of Labour in achieving aspirations and ambitions aimed at increasing the employment of Bahrainis. Hamidan affirmed the government's keenness to enhance cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in a way that meets the aspirations of the citizens, specifically in the areas of work and qualification of national human resources to accelerate their integration into various promising productive sectors. He stressed the importance of building on the achievements made to provide more qualitative and promising opportunities for citizens. Upon the royal order of His Majesty the King regarding preserving the historical and cultural identity of Bahrain's buildings and cities, and within the framework of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to launch a plan to develop mosques in all governorates, the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Abu Bakr al Siddiq Mosque at Al Hura after it was expanded, renovated, and fully equipped at the expense of the al Kohidi family. Sheikh Abdul Rahman expressed pleasure with the opening of this vital mosque and praised the role of philanthropists in rebuilding and caring for mosques. He affirmed Bahrain's pride in the generous contribution of Bahraini philanthropists to serve their religion, country and society, noting that the Al-Kohidi family initiative to adopt the expansion and renovation of the mosque. The president praised the keenness of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty and the follow-up of His Royal Highness to serve and care for for masks. An implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to open, restore and develop 32 mosques under the Sindhi and Jafari Waqf in all governorates of the kingdom. And as part of the mosque development plan, the chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al Hadri, opened the Aisha and Hassan Al Ghattan Mosque in Al Fatih. Al Hadri noted the achievements made in the construction of places of worship during the era of His Majesty the King. He hailed the interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to ensure the development of places of worship in accordance with the religious values and its messages in society. For his part, the donor Reis Al Qattan and on behalf of Al Qattan family expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for their care for mosques and facilitation of worshipping for citizens and residents. An implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa opened Sheikh Fatima bin Ahmed Al Khalifa Mosque in Zillag. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid affirmed that His Majesty the King's era witnessed a continuous process of construction and development of mosques, hailing the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the launching of plans and programs aimed at developing mosques in all governorates of the kingdom. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid noted the importance of mosques in spreading Islamic teachings and developing society by spreading virtues and harmony, congratulating the people of Zillag on the opening of the mosque. For his part, the chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al Hadri, commended the interest of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in places of worship, noting the role of mosques in the development and stability of society.
the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wael Mbarak, and the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, paid an inspection visit to Manama Central Market to review the business development and needs of the market merchants. Limbarak emphasized the keenness of the Municipalities Affairs Ministry to develop the central market and provide all services needed to accommodate the needs of merchants. He indicated that capacitators installation, which is 95% complete, will rationalize daily electricity consumption and reduce operational expenses. Fakhro said that the Industry Ministry is constantly monitoring the movement of the central market in terms of streamlining food commodities and identifying obstacles. He added that the ministry will coordinate with relevant authorities to reduce commodity price rises, monitor and deal with any illegal acts in accordance with current procedures. The Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi, visited the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan, where he met the crew of the competition program Estaria. Dr. An Naimi expressed thanks and appreciation to the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his support to the program. He hailed His Highness's support to the program's message of establishing the values of citizenship, loyalty, and belonging to the kingdom and its leadership and taking pride in its heritage. The minister hailed the program's development this year in which the heritage of each GCC country is celebrated, which reflects Bahrain's approach of enhancing the joint Gulf media system to highlight the development and progress of GCC countries and their rich history. The minister reviewed the daily preparation conducted at the village to film a Saria program as the visit comes to ensure the smooth operation of the program, wishing all success. On the occasion of the International Day to Combat Islamophobia, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the call of His Majesty the King to approve an international agreement to criminalize religious, sectarian, and racist hate speech represents a wise and realistic vision to establish a peace and acceptance of others and a rejection of a religious fanaticism and hostility. The chairman said that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, embodies the principles of Islamic moderation. He noted that the center spreads the principles of civilization, peace, and harmony and works to establish human fraternity in accordance with the Declaration of Bahrain. He denounced all practices of physical and psychological abuse and hatred on the basis of religious affiliation and the hateful abuse of holy books. He also condemned and denounced these actions as they are an incitement to extremism and violence and a flagrant violation of international principles and conventions. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce affirmed its continuous follow-up on the implementation of the ministerial decision banning the manufacturing, import or circulation of single-use plastic bags with a thickness of less than 35 microns. Since 2022, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce has been monitoring plastic violations, if any, through awareness and inspection campaigns to verify the products comply with laws and requirements. Based on a prior study prepared by the Ministry on the status of plastic bag factories and main points of sales as well as factories for alternative to plastic bags in Bahrain, the result of the study revealed that 86% of local factories will continue to manufacture plastic products not included in the ministerial decision or to manufacture alternative to plastic bags and 100% of these factories intend to manufacture multi-use plastic bags whose thickness exceed 35 microns. Plastic bag alternative factories also affirm that this type of bag is available in the local market. 
the Coast Guard continues its inspection campaign in fishing harbors and beaches to detect violations and ensure seafarers are not using banned fishing tools and follow marine safety conditions and residency and labor market regulatory authority rules. It stressed that more campaigns would be held during Ramadan to protect maritime security and detect violations and law-breaking activities by taking legal action. With the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, consumers head to markets to buy their daily necessities amid various offers and competitive prices offered by the commercial markets in Bahrain in cooperation with the main companies that prompt consumers to buy and benefit from them. Shoppers agreed that the Ramadan offers help greatly in providing some goods at reduced prices, unlike the rest of the year.